Hi there. You doing well? I'm all right. You all right? Back there pushing buttons, getting ready? Trying to, trying to make things work. Trying to multitask? I am definitely, yes. I hope your multitasking goes better than mine this morning, trying to <laughs> eat my Raisin Bran um, at red lights. I do, do try not to eat while driving before you hammer me with that um, but I mean I'm a mom working trying to get everybody in their places and my raisin brown has found its place all down the front of my shirt and into my lap but that's okay we're going to move forward with our <laughs> day and chalk it up if that's the worst thing that happens to me today I am not uh, doing so bad now coming up tomorrow is going to be a big day here in the metro specifically in Vicksburg there is a large turnout expected in Vicksburg tomorrow to to peacefully march and protest the death of George Floyd. The demonstration hasn't even taken place yet, and its organizers are already getting praise for their diligence in working with the city, with law enforcement, and making this a productive and safe event. And that is part to our guest here on the Metro today, Mr. Mike Bunch. Good morning, Mike. Hello. Good morning. Did you spill your breakfast down your shirt while driving into work this morning? <laughs> no ma'am. <laughs> oh, only no, I do. Ma'am. Only I'm the one that's guilty of that this morning. Uh, but that's good to know. So you're off to a great start. But I know you are super busy with everything that's coming up tomorrow there in Vicksburg. So I appreciate your time with us this morning on the Metro. But I wanted to ask, when did you get inspired to sort of organize um, this event in Vicksburg? Um, uh, particularly uh, just stuff has really been going on in uh Mississippi for a long time and uh I'm a young guy so I wasn't you know uh affected back then when in the 1960s when it was really hit hard but now I'm able to to speak and use my voice and uh move forward with it and uh act on social injustice well, I think it's important that we all use our voice and do it peacefully. It's part of our constitutional right and part of, I think, being, you know, a responsible citizen to sort of speak out on those things that, you know, move you. And that's exactly what sort of inspired you to start to organize this event coming up tomorrow. Now, you use social media to sort of put the call out for others to join you. Were you surprised, Mike, by the instant response? Um, I have a big social media media following, so uh, definitely what wasn't uh, uh, t- t- you know taken by it. Uh, I knew it was going to be a big because this is a big thing. George Floyd, uh, the incident has impacted the world. Uh, people are protesting from uh, here and near and far. So uh, no, I thought I thought it was going to be just like it's supposed to be. Uh, We've been oppressed for so long, and now it's time we, we, we uh, you know, us young people come up, use our different platforms and uh, our voice to move forward and uh, unite together instead of, you know, racially dividing us. And I think one thing that events like you are organizing peacefully there in Vicksburg coming up tomorrow helps. Obviously, we have platforms like social media where everyone can unite and start to use something as simple as the Black Square for Blackout Tuesday or just sort of raising their hand saying, you know, I don't agree with this for maybe the first time ever. And you can collectively see across the audience that it is a wide variety of people who feel very moved and impacted by the events uh, with George Floyd, as well as just, you know, systemic um, situations that we have even in our own state. But when you peacefully get together and congregate and, and protest, which is your civic right to do, you also get to just see the fact that people from all walks of life show up in support of these type of, of, of voices and these movements, which I think is powerful even in and of itself. So you, yes, Mike, ma'am. started assembling a team to help you with the efforts. So who makes up your team? I know you're the voice with us here on the Metro today, but I know you've got um, a rally of people around you that um, that help make this happen. Oh, definitely. Um have uh, organizers, uh, Courtney Clark, Bethany Johnson, uh, you know, the NAACP is helping out, uh, Mayor Flags, uh, Chief Milton, uh, just a lot of people that came together 
a lot of sponsorship. Uh, man, the, the it's been great. You know, uh, no neg. You know, where there's uh, positive, there will be negative. But we just look over the negative and move forward with what we have to do. Well, Mike, what's inspired me about your story there in Vicksburg, and obviously, you know, the event hasn't, it's not over yet, it's geared to take place tomorrow, but it's already getting so much positive press in sort of the way you and your team have organized it appropriately to show that you're trying to make a peaceful but poignant and powerful statement. You're not trying to be, you know, uh, spark any sort of controversy in terms of violence or anything that, you know, we may have seen um, in other areas. And you you took specific steps with that, Mike. You first reached out to the city of Vicksburg, uh, Mayor George Flags. You then reached out to the police department, which was a very bold and brave and courageous move um, to do. Um, And how did they respond to your request to rally there in Vicksburg? Oh, wow. Uh, I walked in. They greeted me with open arms. Mayor Flags, Chief Milton. uh, We told them what, what we wanted to do. Uh, we wanted to, we we wanted the we wanted to know the safe the safest route to take so we can uh, make sure that our people are safe. That that was the main reason. That was my main reason for for going up there. I wanted to keep my people safe and uh, a peaceful protest. They welcome. They rolled the red carpet out for me. They said. Uh, we love what y'all are doing, and we want to be behind you 150%. Well, that makes me very proud of Not- Mississippi and the city of Vicksburg. So I know you've got the support of Mayor Flags and the chief, and both are actually set to speak tomorrow. So give us a little rundown. Yeah. Um, tell us about maybe how the event will go in terms of um, an agenda tomorrow, if you have one. Oh, uh, definitely. Uh, first off, we would we, we – were, uh, we will have, we will do the march, you know, and people can outcry and say whatever they uh, like. They, uh, as long as it's peaceful, you can say it. You can use your voice however you want to use it. And then we will march down to the uh, Main Street Market place, and uh, and then that's when we will have the speakers. Man, we have some uh, uh, spoken word artists. We have some. Uh, oh man, we have. Uh, we're gonna have a song. We're gonna have prayer. We're gonna. We just gonna let them do whatever they feel they want to do, and as long as it's peaceful, uh, we'll have different NAACP uh, speakers. Uh, it's gonna be great. I think everyone needs to come out and uh, just hey, just outcry, just outcry. And I think come too, out. Mike. Even if you come, and sometimes. You know, personally, you just don't know what to say or what to speak out. But just showing up and raising your hand sometimes is a first step of showing that you may not know how to help. You don't know what to say or what to do, but you just say, I'm here and I'm, I'm standing it. with That's you. It. And so if if, if people want to do that and get involved tomorrow, um, Mike, there in Vicksburg, where do we like what time? Where do we come? Um, that sort of thing. I know where you're walking shoes. Okay, we will meet up at Vito Street at the police department, right in front of the uh, police department. And then we'll, we'll, we will walk down, uh, we will walk down uh, towards Vito Street uh, all the way down until we get to the marketplace on Washington Street. From Vito to Washington Street. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, I think the people that's coming out will really, really... Uh, be impactful, you know, to, to, it's a great cause. It's a great cause. Well, I think anytime you use your civic rights to stand up for a cause that you believe in, you know, that's, that's definitely a good thing, Mike. And that's, and again, I go back to what's inspiring to me about how this whole thing is 
been organized there in Vicksburg. It's just the, the, the responsible steps that you and your team took to make sure that it is done peacefully, it is done respectfully. You know, you involved the city, you worked uh, with the grain, not necessarily against it in terms of showing that, you know, we just want our voices to be heard. We're not here to cause necessarily an unnecessary ruckus in that respect. And if we want to start by learning more information online, I know you have um, a pretty uh, big Facebook uh, group that's going on. So where can we go to just tap in there? Um, uh, March, March for Floyd. You can go add that on Facebook. It's a uh, Definitely on Facebook, you'll, you'll see it, more, uh, the March for F- George Floyd. Uh, and then my Facebook is Mike Bunch. I have a lot of information on my Facebook as well. Um, in the time of the march, I forgot, I left that out, it will be 3 p.m. starting at Vito Street. Uh, y'all come out and uh, let your voices be heard. Like you said, even if you raise your hand, that's good enough. But let your voice be heard. So, Mike, in your article with the Vicksburg Post that moved me to get you here on the Metro with us today, you were quoted saying, we want all this to be about love. We want to practice love in the state of Mississippi. And I genuinely feel like you will be a model for how to protest without the message being lost, because I feel like that's that's one of the things that has been overshadowed by some of the other you know, um, events that are going on across the, the country is the, the message being lost. And And I am so proud of of Mississippi for all of the protests that has happened statewide to date. They have been peaceful and the message has been poignant and the people who are organizing them, you know, are doing it in a civically responsible way. And I think your message will not get lost in that. So I appreciate your time here on the Metro. Thank you so very much. All right. Peacefully. Peacefully. That's how we want to do it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Well, I appreciate your time. Looking forward to tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. All righty. I wanted to say love you, but then I was like, we don't really know each other like that. I don't want to throw you under the bus to have to say it back. <laughs> wow. But, but I love that, though. And one thing I love about his story is so many others that I've gotten the opportunity to um, – you know, talk with or, or, or interview here on the Metro and other places here on Super Talk is when one person has an inspired idea and they go about it in the right way, whether it is for the march, for a business, for a nonprofit, for insert thing, and they just step out in faith and sort of do it, take one step at a time. It's so inspiring to me to watch how God sort of manifests that into something great and bigger than they ever sort of um, thought that it would be. And I feel like that's what's going to happen there in Vicksburg because the proper foundations were sort of laid. And again, Mayor George Flags as well as the chief of police is behind it. And I think it should be a beautiful demonstration uh, tomorrow there, um, there in Vicksburg. So if you're in the area, check it out um, if, if you feel so, so moved.